This is Rose's Scabbard. I don't I'm, think that can be taken any other uh, way. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm... I, I definitely got a vibe out of this one that was interesting. How about you? Well, I, I, th I think the vibe has been there for a while. It's um, been... I thought it's been there for a long time now, but now it seems really out in the open. Th there's no yeah. other way this can be taken as that, anything else. I mean, they said it in every way but name. Well, her, her reaction... Pearl's reaction to Rose, uh, to basically Stephen knowing things that Rose would have, is like a jealous lover. Yeah, no, very much. Yeah. Um, and um, it, so, like, the scene where the, the picture fell, like, right there, I'm like, okay, I feel like we're really going, we're committing to this now, like, and then I, but, like, I thought maybe they're going to milk it another episode or two, but by the end of this episode, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, no, I, uh, I... Wouldn't that be amazing I, if just only, like, the creator comes out and it's just like, Oh, no, no, no they're, they're just, just really good friends. I, uh, <laughs> no, she was, like, her I guess, mentor, I guess mentor. like, yeah, like, Burns and Smithers are good friends. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, um, I, 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 I think it's everything. I mean, fucking everything but name. I, mean, I don't even think you need to say I'm the name. I'm completely fine with it. It makes them no, really compelling characters. But no, uh, no, honestly, yeah, I'm like, okay, so this, I'm like, we're committing to this, I guess. <laughs> Here's what I really like about this, because you know, whatever, the lesbian couple, gay couple, whatever, is not really shocking at all anymore. What I really find, so it's like, well, how can you get anything like? super interesting or why even build this up or keep it secret or anything and it, one yeah okay like with Cora and everything there's prejudice you gotta tread lightly and stuff but for me what makes it really interesting uh and really complex is that again Rose is half Steven uh but they're they're not playing that at all like oh hey she finds a little boy attractive or anything like that is that she sees Rose in Steven, but... Oh, yeah. No, but but on top of Which that... Which is an interesting idea. No, but because you know, even though I personally, I mean, cannot think of anyone I've met in my life that, that has done this or gone through this, but you know there's people out there that, whatever, hate a child because they remind them of somebody. Either they love or they yeah. hate it or both. Um, and well, I get a I lot of that from that. Yeah, Even though it's like she's raising him and everything, there's still like this... When he was holding on, she there. made sure I he don't didn't fall, I, yeah, but she yeah. didn't help him. I, it's very subconscious, it seems to me. Though. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't get an active, like... Because she's protected Stephen plenty of times. <laughs> yeah, no. It's but there not, are times when there is something buried in there that is like, woo. Yeah, no, definitely. And like, and I hate it's the... I think Stephen... It, she hates the way Stephen reminds her of the past, I think is what's going Correct. on there. Um, and... Yeah, this is... This is like a fucking can of worms of psychological issues, this whole episode. Well, I'm like, wow. Yeah, I, I think with this one and... Um, hey, you know, how easy would it have been to have Pearl replace Amethyst in an episode where they watch Little Butler and stuff like that. I mean, suddenly it's like two out of the three gems kind of look at Steven and say, hey, we're going to protect you and, you know, we love you and everything. I mean, there's but no there's doubt that they love But there's a history and some baggage here. Of yeah, like we've... there's sort of this deep-seated, like, you kind of changed everything well, and in some respects maybe even ruined a few things, but we can't admit that to ourselves because we the, don't want it to the be The brilliance true. of the story, once the plot actually gets moving because it, it does take a while but once it gets moving the brilliance of the story is this we're all finding out about this kind of as steven is in these yeah. bits and pieces of wow there's there's an actual history here this wasn't one big flashback dump like slowly we're learning that like it, it there's trouble in paradise here that's been going on for well, a while and you're finding out about the right way you're finding out through the it's not What's this place? Well, let me talk for hours about it. It's like, no, somebody goes oh, the through Wachowski something. the Wachowski method. Yeah, somebody goes through something. What's wrong with them? And you spend the whole episode confronting their emotions, yeah. but to find out about the emotions, you have to know what's going on. Like so the they also tell you Lucas, what's going on. the Wachowskis, Shyamalan, they should all take notes. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is very naturally done. And so much is being said. Again, I mean, we, we go on and on about this all the time but so much is being said with what's not being said i think her looking over making sure he's okay he's holding on to the vine but yeah. not helping him oh that I mean, was that, a, that, I, I, a, I just that my, says much my more jaw than hit words. the ground i was like 
<laughs> when Steven climbed up, I was like, thanks for the help. Like, but, but you it, also get it when you see her and that wonderful drawing on her of her just covering half her face, you know. Oh, she was in the middle eyes. of a fucking meltdown. Yeah. Like, um, I, she you, was... You just get it. She was gone in bye-bye land for a little bit there. Like, I... Yeah, I, I don't even think that it was consciously like, I'm gonna let Steven fall. I think she was literally paralyzed mm. with depression or anxiety or something. Well, she's already kind of neurotic, so... Mm. Or something there, just too paralyzed to do anything. Like, just sitting there, like... I think she knows, like, if he's okay, like, if he was really in danger... Oh, I have a feeling... I would go get him, but, you know, if if he he can get out of it. I'm sure if she heard a snap and then... Yeah, boom, she would go after him. Yeah, but I think she had some feeling, like, he can do it himself. Yeah. Um, And I think they so well capture certain elements uh, of uh, Steven as a child. At the line, you gotta tell me. I, I love that line because that's something I can't forget as a kid where it's like you kind of think there's these rules where as a parent, you got to tell me. It's like, it's the rule. And it's like, well, well, there are no real rules, but it's something where he's kind of right too. It's like, why aren't you doing what should be very obvious and explaining this or showing or whatever? Um, so, yeah, I, I find it... Again, though, I like the fact that that kind of, you know buried i don't want to say hatred but kind of what you said me jealousy that buried jealousy is no, always that je- no it's not jealousy <sighs> but but what's the word i'm looking for she's not jealous she's not jealous of steven it i think regret i literally Re- like it steven reminds her of the past i, I don't I don't okay no no you know what you're right the you're father. right there was there was jealousy with going to the father you're right Probably more regret, though. I think you're right too. I think, because... yeah. I think in the end, it's it's mostly regret. I think she misses Rose for reasons that seem pretty clear to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, and at first, I think it's like a jealous lover. Like, well, Rose was confident. I knew Rose, unlike anyone else. Mm. You know, and I I think jealousy kickstarts it because also Rose and Steven's dad. There had mm. to be jealousy there. Yeah. You know, but I think I think in the end, when it all comes down to it, it's just she doesn't. She just does not want to face. You know, Rose's death. Hmm. Like right. she has all this. Re- she has all this regret. I mean, she obviously had some relationship here. Rose is gone. All of that is gone, and she has this constant fucking reminder staring her in the face. And I think she's okay with that because she sees it as an extension of helping Rose, but. I think when that moment happened, when it's just like, oh, I know about all these things, it's just like, but but I was the one. Like, but, but again, it, it transferred it's, into jealousy at that point. Well, I think what makes it even tougher is that it was a choice that Rose made. Rose chose yeah. to become half human, half... Well, and you saw that yeah, flashback yeah. was fucking amazing, where it's just the, the look in Pearl's eyes was like, I will follow you to the ends yeah. of the earth. I want to be with you no matter what. And it's like, you have to imagine that afterwards, though, hooking up with Steven's dad and everything, had to feel like a sense of betrayal. Well, it's, and here's the thing. Rose said, my Pearl. I mean, that has yeah. to be, okay, she's aware. Oh, that no, Pearl that was possessive. Attraction. My Pearl. Yeah, no, I yeah. mean, but yeah, that is, you know, she has to at the very least know that Pearl has an attraction to her and is either trying to let her down easily or or yeah. maybe she and had an attraction this is to not, her too. You know, and then if this is not like a sexual love, it is definitely an intimate soulmate kind of like at least to me i'm reading it as like above and beyond you know oh we're just bffs like yeah there is something going on here even if you know the show's not willing to take it to that level Mm -hmm. um but i mean uh, it like i said i mean i think they uh, like whether or not they could say it or not you know i mean it's like it's it really is to a point. It just it can't be anything else. It, it just can't. Uh, the the big question for me is whether or not how far did Rose kind of go with it? You know, were they ever a couple, yeah. or was it more? Look, I understand, and we have these feelings, but this can't happen because of whatever. She's in love with yeah. Stevens. I don't disagree with something else. I I think jealousy is half of it, but I think the fact that Rose is dead, and obviously it did not hit any of them. I think that adds another layer. On top of it, yeah. So no, I, I, honestly, I think, I think I think it's it really comes down to regret, and maybe that you know, 
not jealousy, well, because of the confidant thing, but more like, we don't know what happened. Maybe Pearl didn't pursue it as far as she could have. Maybe she's got regret over that. It's like, well, now this is all... I get the feeling whenever I watch Pearl and she's talking there that there's this feeling of, well, now it's all too late. Like, this is all just ghosts in the past and this and that. And well, th that's what I was going to say. She do in her head. Whenever she talks about Rose, it's super confident. And, and they were best buds. And she was phenomenal. And it, everyone talks well yeah. about her. But she especially sings her praises. But it's also every day she's looking at this choice that Rose made. I mean, every day she looks at Steve. And not only does she see this choice that Rose made, but she sees, you know, Rose as well. Well, and that may be part of the thing. It's like... Stephen knowing about this, maybe the she's obviously built Rose up in her memories in the back of her head, probably more than you know. It's like a hero worship. Yeah. So that may be. I think part of it, the jealousy kicked in because that was a chink in the armor of like, but Rose was so perfect, she wouldn't do that to me. Yeah. Well, she did. <laughs> like, well, no, Stephen no, knows but, he's in, like. But I mean, but the ultimate thing, I mean, on top of that, keeping the secrets away, I think there's a sense like she had to hold on to that because. You know, she sings her praises and everything, but I, part of it, I think, is there's this interesting case of denial where it's like, I can claim we were the closest and we were soulmate, we are all these things, but she still went for Steven's dad. She well, left her to go for Steven's dad and even total, abandoned her life. It's total denial. It. And the problem is reality is now caught up to her because mm -hmm. st we now have proof that Rose may have confided things into Steven. And I think just the the previous episode, you know, not too long ago with the, the storage locker. Yeah. All that shit comes flooding back. Like, you know, I think now now that Steven's getting older, it's like she can't just bury it and put it in her head. And like, oh, yeah, everything was hunky-dory because you get the distinct impression the other gems aren't talking about Rose either. So they're they're not going into anything heavy. You notice they, they try to keep Steven out of it. They try yeah. to... So Pearl's allowed herself to basically build this past backstory in her head and hero worship, and now literally reality's invading it. Mm -hmm. It's like breaking down the shell she's what? built, and it's like, well, no, here's what really's going on. Well, I don't even think it's necessary for Steven. I think she's convinced herself that, like, the two of them, I mean, after she left, it's like you hit this, you know, kind of like you said, well, no. you know, this feeling of betrayal, almost like, you know, when she's going with this human oh, no. and abandoning herself. So it's like, you know what, I'm going to build up no, that. I'm she supportive built it up on for Fortis, herself, you know, even though she was left all behind. All three of them have also said we're not, they've been keeping things from Steven, and I think on purpose. Mm. So they'll talk about the mother occasionally, but the whole backstory with the, you know, there may be other gems trying to destroy the earth and all that, that's been kept secret. And you notice the other gems I don't think took it very well when Rose died either. They don't seem to talk about it much. They talk about it politely and, oh, yes, your mother was really great in this and that. But I don't see anything really deep. No, like, it sort of comes many, down these little passive-aggressive... Yeah, yeah, Garnet sure, and yeah. Amethyst and Pearl, when the three of them are together, how many deep conversations do they have? So it seems like they all are not addressing the subject all that much, which has allowed Pearl to do this mm -hmm. like and i don't think garnet and amethyst did that to help pearl i just think they all were just like well it's kind of painful like you don't talk about it much you don't want to talk about your dead friends much like and bring up memories but it's allowed pearl to do this and steven now like that he's getting old enough and the past is being dug up is breaking down that image like reality reality is literally invading pearl's head and i think it's she can't cope well, I mean, right down to Garnet and Amethyst, well, particularly Garnet, let Stephen go to fix it. Like, they didn't go. I mean, she said, yeah. good luck. I mean, there's a sense you really are the only one that can do this, not just because you're so open and nice and you're Stephen and stuff like that, but you're Rose. You know, you're half Rose, yeah. pretty much. And I think that's in the, that might be another aspect of the jealousy, is that unintentionally it's like this kid's growing up and now he's ruining my perfect image of my hero. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm having to face this shit for the first time, so. Yeah. No, it was, uh, I mean, it's a good, and that was a, that was a treasure trove of shit going on. Yeah. On one. The, the, the one last thing I'll, uh, I'll comment on is the, uh, it, how easy it would have been if they just ended on him hugging her from behind and her crying. I mean, you could just stop there. I like that they kept going and they, allowed her to have her moment again where she's like explaining the battles and stuff like that and, yeah. and allowing her to show off and everything and it, it's now kind of like well now it's kind of their special play they had this nice little moment 
and uh, you know, not just hey, I broke down, had this embarrassing thing. You know, it's like she, well, I like she, the she, image. she could tell these stories and impress him. I like the image of them on the line and her carrying the battle flag. It was very, it was a great metaphor for we're moving forward, marching yeah. on. So. Um, yeah, and again, great, I'm, I'm, great episode. I, I'm kind of waiting for that, like when they're on the lion, because they hold on that shaft for a while. I'm waiting for mm. it to be like, I didn't know, like either like she puts her hand on his shoulder or like rubs his head or something like that. But she just sort of looks for both, like both really broken, but you know, starting to get fixed too, you know, and starting to heal. Um, you know, like she, she's starting to put herself back together. Uh, you know, it just sort of looks forward, looks down at Steve, and then just sort of looks forward again. Like, it's not like a smile or anything. Like, I thought that's, even though I, I wouldn't have hated it or anything, I thought that would have been just a hint too much. I liked that it was a little bit more ambiguous. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that's probably all we can say about that one. I mean, not like we had little to say about it. Um, maybe the line was roses. So that's why it's pink. Yeah, when you think about it, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that is the one thing I'm really curious to. I'm curious where the lion... I mean, obviously the lion was Rosa, but, like, what... Uh, we've established what, that. It's like, how did he fit into this? Though? Yeah, I mean, the lion always was knows... the lion always meant for where Steven? To, like, yeah, uh, where to go, what to get, what time to do Has it, a treasure trove behind. of Rose's things inside his or, or... Is... Does that lion have a gender? Like, has it been established, or... It's gonna say his or I her think, fur. I think he says he... But I'm I guess not it's a positive. Heat. Maybe the pink's throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's but. times where he has eyelashes too, but I, I'm pretty sure he said he. Um, oh, whatever. It's yeah, <laughs> but it's um, yeah, but you also see some of like her father's stuff in there too. Well, the VHS was in there the first time we see her too, uh, or uh, Stephen's father's stuff is in there. So um, yeah, no, uh, really good episode and uh, yeah, very revealing, very emotional, and uh, that that's. That's how you do it. You know, I think whenever people say, well, a lot of movies are supposed to be explaining as to, I mean, I think this is why oh, we God, are I so hate hard. That. No, but this this is why I think we are so hard on movies that over explain stuff because <sighs> this is what you're missing. This is a good combination. Show this is what's done so don't well. Tell. I mean, you can tell a little. You need words. Yeah. I mean, I'm it's, not saying that it's, it's visual movie, and but. verbal, but it's like, yeah, I mean, use the combination, use everything tell that's given to you. Tell your story naturally, organically. Don't write four paragraphs of text and just have one actor deliver it. And like, it just, ugh. Yeah. Um, so, no, definitely really enjoyed it, and uh, we will see you at the next one. Later.